Hi, Jared with Visuals by Impulse, and I'm gonna show you how to take the Hyper Event List and Alerts widget and set it up within your stream on OBS and Streamlabs OBS, whether or not you're using Stream Elements or Streamlabs to use those alerts and event lists. So let's get started. In the main directory, you'll see there's a Hyper Event List and Alerts widget. You'll see a README, a store page, and a panel you can use on your stream. Now inside the one-click setups is where all the information is. So Streamlabs and Stream Elements is located right here. Let's go ahead and start with Streamlabs. Now, both of these are one-click setup links. So let's go ahead and start with the one-click setup for the Streamlabs alerts. And it's gonna open up Streamlabs. And I'm gonna go ahead and set default for this uh, tutorial. And then once that's launched, what we'll do is the first thing we need to do is take it from over here in Streamlabs and bring it into OBS. So let's copy this URL right here. Another good practice is if you need to get other widgets or if you want the hype meter setup and this setup, you'll just wanna go to the manage themes and then here's where you can copy different URLs. That way you can have multiple widgets on here. And we'll go into that in another video. But for these purposes, let's go ahead and copy this widget. And down here in OBS, let's add this browser source. So we'll call this hyper alerts. And then we'll paste that URL into this section here. And make sure you do this 1920 by 1080 is the dimensions. And there you go. So. If you're in a 720 or a 4K, you'll do those dimensions. But for this use case and most use cases, let's use 1080. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit a test follow. And you'll see that that alert pops up right up top. We can do a test subscription and there's a different layout set for this subscription tier. And likewise with the resub and the donate. So if I wanna make all those consistent, I'll need to change those settings in the custom fields for each one corresponding. So the follows, the subscriptions, the donations, and likewise. So each of these corresponding alert tabs, these have the custom fields. So let's go to subscriptions and go down to custom fields. And this is where everything is programmed. So your top horizontal layout, your bottom horizontal layout, and your box layout can be selected here, as well as how this aligns. And then the original capitalized and uppercase text styling. All of these colors you can coordinate with the event list as well as the height meter. So then your whole stream will be coordinated with colors based on these tiers. And then down here in the tier thresholds, this is where you're gonna wanna coordinate them as well. So this is tier two threshold, three, four, and five. And this is where you set up the amount that have to be met. So let's go to bits. Under bits, you'll see we have tier two is at 500, tier three is at 1000, and let's go ahead and test those out. So. Let's go to the advanced testing URL and under bits, we'll put a thousand. And now based on what we have to set at, this should be tier three. So let's hit test bits and that should be purple. Yep, so that's purple because tier three color is purple. So now, now that you understand that, let's go ahead and jump into setting up the event list. So back over here in our one-click setups folder, We'll go to the one-click setups, we'll go to Streamlabs, and then we'll go to the event list one-click setup. We're gonna do the same thing we did for the alerts here. We're gonna copy this URL, we're gonna go into OBS and hit new browser source and say hyper event list. And then we'll paste that URL here and do the same thing, 1920 by 1080. And you can make that size whatever you like, really. All right, and now that we have that set up, let's go ahead and go over to our advanced testing. Let's do the same test we did before, a thousand bits. And we know based on our settings and our tiers that a thousand bits should get us tier three, which is the color purple. And that in our settings down here in custom fields, the color for tier three is also purple. And the bits is set to 1000 for tier three. So that all corresponds. So let's go ahead and give ourselves a test here. So test bits for 1000 and there you go. The tiers matched up, the colors matched up. And then if you have your hype meter set up, everything corresponds and you are generating hype at a hyper level. So let's go ahead and generate a test follow here to see how this works. And there you go. That's green as well. And then let's go ahead and say that we like to switch up our alert style. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's say I want this alerts. Uh, let's go to, let's just stick with the bits for now. Let's go ahead and do a bottom horizontal for the alerts and we'll save that save it twice and let's go ahead and give ourselves let's give ourselves a different tier 
Let's go up to 2,500 and test those bits. There we go, we're in tier four. And there it goes, it corresponds. So that's in yellow. And let's also change that again. Let's change to a different layout. We'll go to boxed. Um, we'll keep it left. And yeah, I like it like that. So save, save again. And I'm kind of curious where this is gonna show up. So let's see if we do one more test. We'll do 5,000 to the top tier. There we go, we're in red. So there you go. You can see that now you notice that my alerts are on top of this, and that's because we, we picked the left line. So if I want to change that alignment, I'll just go over here and I'll say center, or I could even say right. And then let's go ahead and save that again and do that test again. So test 5,000 and there you go. And now, you know, of course you can change this location put this wherever you want. You could even bring it down here if you want. Uh, and we could do a test. Let's do a test of 250. It should be tier one, I believe. There you go. Working pretty good. So let's go ahead and jump into these settings right here. So inside the alert box, you'll notice that all of this information is separated between each custom fields of the alert type. And then in the event list, everything is in one single custom fields layer. So you'll notice that everything is just listed down here in a hierarchy. So you have the subscriber, the sub gift, the bits, the host, the rate, and everything corresponds, but you can go ahead and change anything you need uh, based on your own stream to dial this in. Let's do another setup here. I'll show you that we also have a list orientation here within the event list. So we can set that orientation up and we can also say if we want it to come from the left or the right. Uh, and let's go ahead and save that just because I want you to see how this this looks and it looks a lot different on the stream. So we'll go back over here and we will do a test follow. And there we have our alerts set up um, in a bizarre place. <laughs> so we can put these back up here and then we'll go back to our alert settings and let's tell those alerts to actually be let's go to bits again. We'll have to make sure we're on the corresponding test. Um, yeah, let's do a bits test. So let's take this and we'll position the bits to be bottom horizontal. And let's see how that looks. Let's do a bits test. Now, if you want everything to be consistent, make sure you go through each and every one of your alert types to make sure that those settings correspond. So let's go to advanced testing. And I kind of want to do a purple one. I like the purple. Let's do a test bit. There we go. And that works well. So that we have our bottom alert aligned at the bottom. We have our top event list corresponding with it. Uh, and you can do that however you like. So you get a really cool, unique style here and all your, your own colors. And you have a bunch of different settings to set up. It's a super modular widget that allows you to get exactly what you want to dial into your stream. All right, so back over here in the hyper event list and alerts widget folder, let's go back into the one click setups. And I wanna cover the stream elements. So let's say, let's use Twitch. We will go ahead and double click the alerts. And then we're gonna go ahead and go into the edit for this alert. And we'll do a tip event of 50 bucks. And you'll notice there's a little bit of uh, an off. It's a little off here. And that's because we'll have to set our position settings. So go into your position settings, make sure this is 1920 by 1080 and then save so let's try that again there we go same exact things apply here that applied into streamlabs but everything will be within stream elements here so if you want to go to your cheers you'll see that all the thresholds are down here you have your tier two threshold your tier three your tier four and likewise with the colors style and layout you have those settings right here so everything we covered within Streamlabs is all the same with here in Stream Elements, just within its own hierarchy of the way this is set up. So make sure that your colors are corresponding to the event list colors and that your tiers are all set up the way you want them to be. And let's go ahead and also set up the event list in Stream Elements. We'll do the same exact thing. We'll edit the event list and make sure that we have this link right here. And we'll pop back over here into creating a browser source and we'll call it Hyper Event List elements. I misspelled that, but hey, we'll 
we'll go with it. 1920 by 1080. And then let's go ahead and emulate a tip event. And there you go. So we have our event list set up and we have our tip. And so you notice right there, there was a different color on the uh, event that there was on the alert. And so what we'll have to do there is let's go check. So inside this settings, let's go to the tip event and we'll check the tiers. So that was a $50 donation. So that was tier five. And so let's go to the alerts and we'll check out for a tip event. So tip alert, and we'll go to the tiers and that would have been a tier four. So let's set this to 50 and go ahead and hit save. And we'll do the same exact thing, do a tip event of 50 and now it matches. So that's exactly how you'll go ahead and double check if those tiers are matching everything on import will match and correspond and that worked for the purpose of this tutorial but on import everything should be linking correctly and all the colors and tiers should be coordinating um, and if they do not then go ahead and go in and tweak and check those settings okay so the final step here i'd like to cover is if you're in streamlabs obs instead of obs you're going to do the same exact thing so over here let's go into the alert box for streamlabs and let's copy this url we're going to do the same thing we did with an obs we're going to add a browser source there are other ways to do this with streamlabs you can have your account synchronized here with these widgets but let's just cover the browser source here so add source and we do not want an existing source we want to add a new source instead and we will call this hyper alerts and add source and we'll do the same thing we'll paste it and 1920 by 1080 and hit done and then when i go over here and do a test bit we will see that there they are it pops up right there so we can do the advanced testing as well here see if our tiers are working and they sure are so it's the same exact setup that we did with obs but we're doing it right in here we'll be adding browser sources just the same way all right, so I hope that was helpful. And if you do have any other questions, please don't hesitate. We're always here to help. We have a great support staff that are here to help you, whether it's on our website, our Discord, or our community circle, we're here to help. So please enjoy the Hyper Event List and Alerts widget, and I hope it's a great companion for the hype meter and generates tons of hype. Good luck.